Hello, what's up? This is Ali and welcome back to our corner. On this video, we will show you how we can update our retail games on our jailbroken PS4. This will work on all jailbreak versions from 5.05 to 11.0. And for those who are aware of the old method, unfortunately, it is no longer working for our jailbroken PS4. So on this new method, we are going to have more steps, but with this, we will be able to update our retail games and we can also choose which version we use to update our games. Now let us go ahead and proceed with our video and start with an easier method. For this, we are going to need an Apollo Save tool. So we can either download and install the FPKG or we can just simply go ahead and download this from the Homebrew Store. Let us go ahead and show you how we can download this from the Homebrew Store. Let us start with activating our jailbreak. After activating our jailbreak, we have to connect our PS4 to the Ethernet to be able to use the Homebrew Store. To connect to the Ethernet, let us go to the settings, the network, set up Ethernet connection, use your local connection, then choose easy. Normally, we should choose custom since we have to use a DNS to prevent Sony updates. But since we are going to update our game, we have to use the default DNS. From here, test your internet connection. You should also get a successful attempt on the IP address and the internet connection. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the homebrew store. Then let us go ahead and enter the homebrew store. Here on the homebrew store, go to the store app groups, utility, then simply look for the Apollo Save tool or other applications that you want to install on your PS4. Aside from the Apollo Save tool, there are a bunch of applications that you can definitely use to help you optimize your experience on your jailbroken PS4. But on this video, let us go ahead and stick with the Apollo Save tool. To download an application, just choose the application. Then choose download and install here. I have the option here, update now because I have already downloaded and installed this application. Now after downloading, let us go ahead and run the application. So what we are going to do here is we are going to activate a dummy PSN account on one of the users on our jailbroken PS4. This will allow us to check for an update for our retail games. Go to the user tools, then activate PS4 accounts. You can choose which account or user you want to activate. Let us go ahead and choose user 1. You don't have to note this account ID for now, but once you see this, just go ahead and uh, press R2. Then you will have to reboot your PS4 for the feature to take effect. Now let us go ahead and restart our PS4. After it restarts, you will notice that the user that we have selected is now in italic. This is an indication that we have activated a PSN account on this user. Now let us go ahead and choose this. Then activate our jailbreak. Then after we activate our jailbreak, we can go ahead and update our games by highlighting the game, press option, then check for update. Your PS4 will automatically detect the latest update. If you're getting an issue here, that means that you're using a DNS that blocks updates from Sony. You should only use the default DNS for your PS4. Now, the issue with this method is that your PS4 will only detect the latest update. And if that update requires a uh, firmware version that is higher than your current version, you won't be able to use that unless you update your PS4, which is a big no if you are on a jailbroken PS4. But for the games like Call of Duty Black Ops 3, the latest update for this game is lower than my current firmware, which is 9.0. That means that I can still use this method and update my game to the latest using this method. But for games that requires a higher firmware version than your current firmware, you will have to choose a specific update that is lower than your current firmware. For that, we are going to need the Orbis Patcher. So let us go ahead and switch to our PC. You can find the link on our description. Here we need to enter the region of the game. If you're not familiar with the region of the game, we can use the items flow manager to check for the region of our game. Let us go back to our PS4. From here, let us run the items flow manager. You can also find this in the homebrew store. 
just download and install this application like what we did with the Apollo Save tool. And here on this application, highlight the game. So our game Black Ops 3 has the region CUSA 03005. Now let us go ahead and enter this on the Orbis Patcher. So just search the region here. Or you can just simply type in the name of the game. And you will get different results. Now just choose the region of your game. And from here, you can choose which update you'll want to install for your game. As you can see here, the latest update for the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 requires a firmware of 7.0. So if you are on 9.0, you can go ahead and download and install this update without causing any issues or problems with your PS4. Keep in mind that you can't install an update that will require a firmware that is higher than your current firmware. So say for example, you are on 6.72, you have to look for an update that supports 6.72 or lower. Now let us say for example, you want to download an update for your game Ghost of Tsushima. Let us go ahead and search the game here. You will see here that the latest update requires a firmware of 11.50. Let's say for example, you are on 11.0. So the update that you can install on your PS4 is the patch 2.18. Since this update requires a firmware lower than your current firmware, now let us go back to the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and show you how we can download and install this to our jailbroken PS4. So just click on the update. Unfortunately, you will need a download manager to download updates from the Orbis patches. In my case, I prefer using the Ethernet download manager since it is uh, simpler to use. Now on this video, we will show you how we can download updates using Internet Download Manager and install it on our jailbroken PS4. On this part, click on Copy All PKG Links. Now let us go ahead and open our Ethernet Download Manager. From here, click on Task, Add Batch Download from Clipboard, and the Download Manager will detect all of the um, links that we have. Now all we have to do is just check all of the PKGs that we need to download. Then click OK. If there are PKGs that aren't downloading, just right click and resume download. Now the thing here, downloading patches or updates on the Orbis patches are split into 4 gig single files. So before we can install this to our PS4, we have to merge this into a single PKG using the PS4 tool. You can find the link on our description. So all we have to do is just wait for the download to complete and merge all of these PKGs into one PKG before we can install this to our PS4. Now after downloading the PS4 tools, just open the folder. Right click on the run, then run as administrator. It will install the application and after installing the application, go back to the PKG, right click, then you will see the options for the PS4 tools, then choose the merge PKG parts. This will merge all of the parts into one FPKG. Now as we wait for the process to complete, we can go ahead and prepare our external hard drive so that we can transfer this and install this on our PS4. We are going to need a hard drive that is formatted to XFAT. This way we are not limited to a 4 gig single file. Now if you see this message, just press any key to continue. Now we can go ahead and transfer this merged file to the root of our external hard drive. After it merges, you can go ahead and delete the um, split PKGs. Now we can go ahead and insert this external hard drive and install this to our jailbroken PS4. Now if we check our retail game, option, then information, it shows that our game is still on version 1.0. Now let us go ahead and install our update. We just activate the jailbreak, go to the golden settings, debug settings, package installer, then install. After installing, we can go ahead and check the game. Press option, then information, and we will see here that we have the version 1.33. This method will only work on retail games. If you have an FPKG, you will have to look for the update of your game that matches the region. So even if you try to update your game using the first method that we have shown you, press option, then check for update. You will be able to download the latest update, but unfortunately, it will not work 
because the update must be signed for your FPKG. But we have a link on our description on how to update games or FPKGs on our jailbroken PS4. We have mentioned earlier on the video that we'll share an easier method of updating your games, and that is by simply getting the FPKG of that game. I'm not trying to promote piracy. I know the value of using your retail games, but with using FPKGs, you are no longer restricted with the version of the update. Because of the backports, we can install updates that previously requires a higher firmware. All we have to do is simply download the update that matches our base game and look for the backport for our firmware. We can use backports lower than our current firmware. Say for example, you downloaded an update with a backport for 5.05 and you are on 9.0. That update will also work on your PS4 as long as they have the same region. This way, you can preserve your retail games as well as the drive of your PS4. You can still continue your game from your retail version and load it to your FPKG using a PolySave tool. So uh, this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.